Hi, and welcome back. Today I'm talking about what I've learned doing video again, and this time I want to talk about slating clips. I've understood the reasoning behind slating for many years, but I've always associated it with big time productions. Stuff, uh, big time production stuff, and not really something I needed to do at my level. That said, uh, right now I'm shooting these vlogs on a setup similar to what you'd use if you were shooting in the field. That is, both my camera and my audio recorder are recording to internal storage, and after I'm done shooting, I have to download the cards into my computer and do post-production work from there. However, to keep my noise floor down as much as possible, I record late at night, and more often than not, I don't download right away. I mean, it's late, and I'm tired. Moreover, I will occasionally record multiple episodes on the same night, or simply have two or three episodes over a couple of days recorded before I download a card and process everything. However, after nine weeks of doing these vlogs this way, I've really come to have a real appreciation for having a visible, readable block of information on the first frame of the scene. Instead of struggling through a bunch of videos trying to see what they are, or what it's right, it, it's just easier if it's right there on the first frame. That said, even though a proper slate isn't all that expensive, I can get one for about $11 off Amazon. I haven't, I haven't yet for a couple of reasons. First, I'm not overly enthralled with the standard information on them. I'm not a major production, I don't shoot film, and there's a lot of things that they include, like roll numbers, director, camera operator, and so on, that I just don't need. In short, I'd end up either leaving out a lot, leaving a lot of fields blank, or filling them in with something that makes sense to me, but then I'd eventually forget what I put where, and the, everything would get confusing again. Or I'd have to figure out how to replace the default markings. Secondly, I don't want another thing to have to carry around. I already have a phone, a tablet, a quarter, a camera, all this audio gear, and all this other stuff. Um, so more things is just not really that great. However, I do have both a phone and a tablet, and both of which I could use for slating. So a digital solution certainly would be preferable. And one that doesn't cost me anything would be even better. However, I have most of the same problems with the slate apps that I have with physical slates. Most have fields that I don't need or care about, and in many cases, when I've tried the apps in the past, a lot of the information was clunky to add, and it was just kind of a mess. Uh, fortunately, I know enough HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to be dangerous, and my needs are simple enough that I don't need a full-blown app or anything like that. So I sat down and banged out a basic slate that provides description, time, date, scene, and take number, and frame rate. And better yet, I've put it up on my website for free, so anyone who wants a super simple slate on their phone or tablet can have one too. Setup is as simple as visiting www.pointsandfocus.com slash tools slash slate on your phone or tablet. On that page, you'll see a large image that looks like the slate. Tap on that and the slate app will open in a new tab. Then just bookmark that page to your home screen. To use the slate, launch it from your home, sc home screen and rotate the phone le to landscape. Right now the features are very basic, which is what I want and what you should expect from two hours of coding. You can tap the production field and enter your scene's name or a description of what you're shooting. You can swipe up to increment or down to decrement on the scene and take fields, and changing the scene field resets the take field to one. You can also swipe left and right on the frame rate field to change the frame rate between 23.93, 24, 25, 29.97, 50, and 59.98 frames per second. Changing the frame rate also changes the frame counter at the end of the free running time counter. However, because this is JavaScript, I can't guarantee it's frame accurate, but it does run at 60 frames per second on most devices, so it should update on every frame, even at 50 and 60 frames per second. With all that said, there are a couple of caveats. First, it's not the most battery or CPU efficient thing on the planet. This isn't unexpected though, as you know, it's a very fast update encounter in JavaScript, and JavaScript uh, isn't that CPU efficient. So I wouldn't recommend keeping this running or displayed for long. Second, there's no refresh or reset yet. 
I, I may add this in the future, but for the moment I haven't really felt the need for it, so I haven't added it. This also means that it's kind of a pain to update it when I make changes, as you have to delete and recreate the home screen shortcut. Finally, there's no sync sound beep and flash, or any other kind of persistent storage including offline caching, so it may not work if you have internet access, and it'll frequently clear the title or whatever you set when you switch away from it. So that's all about all I have to say on slating in my super simple slate app. If you found this content useful or interesting, please smash the like button and subscribe. For more in-depth written content on photography, travel, and deep dives into gear and camera tech, you can visit my website at www.pointsandfocus.com. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Points and Focus. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.